hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to edit members here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to edit members in Microsoft Planner, you'll need to manage membership through the Microsoft 365 group associated with your Planner plan. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to click on the left side panel of your dashboard and hover to the plans that you're working. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this one right here. You see, if you haven't already, there's going to be an option here that says shares. And if you want, you can create a group. All right. If you haven't already, you can add members to create a group if you already have one or choose an existing group. In this case, for example, you choose one of them. For example, this one right here. Okay. And click on add. Now, what, what will happen is adding plan to your group. All right. And the plan has been added to the group. The idea is if you want to enter members here, just put in that. And of course, you can simply click or remove the this person or this member inside the uh microsoft planner group but the idea is before you can do that make sure you have the access level or the permission to do it mostly those who have the super admin access can do that or the administrator or your it department if you're working with a company or sim uh, simply put if your client is the one owning the account but if you're just a uh, one of the collaborator or just a team member you're not going to be able to do it all right so make sure you have the access to that if you're an administrator, you can also manage users and permissions via the uh, three Microsoft 365 Admin Center. All right, so that's one of the easiest way. Now, if you are having problems editing a member here on your Microsoft plan, I highly suggest you contact the official Microsoft Support Center. And from here, all I have to do is select the product that you need help with, and that's going to be the Microsoft 365. All right, because normally, if you, to edit members in Microsoft Planner and you have the access, but you're having problems managing it, you might want to click on, on one of the options, all right? You see, there's going to be a non-admin user of a business account. Just click on the Get Self Support. But if you are the uh, manager or the account holder, you might want to click on this button right here, all right? Again, you cannot edit members directly within the Planner interface, but you can adjust the access through these other tools that control the group permissions and by asking help from the tech support and they will give you insight and troubleshooting steps on how to fix them thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video